It is 845 happening now. A noisy and last ditch attempt to stop a San Francisco man from being evicted. So our goal, right, yeah. is to keep the sheriff and the locksmith from getting to the door. Okay. So let's have some people go to the door and everybody else link arms in front. Okay. And let's take you back out now live to the city's Bayview district and to the home of Marbellus Lucas. He's the man at the center of this foreclosure controversy. This is where demonstrators have been gathered now all morning long, as you see here, carrying signs and chanting. Members of the Alliance of Californians for Community Empowerment and the group Occupy Vernal have joined Lucas in his fight to keep his house. I looked outside, some people were outside taking pictures and asking what were they doing, and they said, well, this is up for auction. I, mean, I can't be up for auction, I've been paying every month. And that's how the story has, has, has come about. From that point on, I've been fighting the uh, eviction. Now, Lucas says he filed for a loan modification with Aurora Bank and that he had never missed a payment. But he says when Nation Star Mortgage took over that loan during the bank's bankruptcy, the house was sold. And today, Lucas was scheduled to be evicted. Activists that have gathered here today say this is a money grab by the companies. I directly wired the money from my bank to them so it was there one day, always the first of the month. Mm -hmm. And um, when I asked them, you know, what, what's up? Well, why did this happen? How did this happen? And they said, well, basically, we have the right to do what we want to do. People are trying to get the American dream, and they're, they're working hard in their homes. They're working hard, you know, for their homes and, and the jobs that they have out there. And, and here it is, banking institutions are, are just sucking them up and bleeding them out and, and taking their homes and making money off of them. With Kim, it's really interesting because Nate Aurora is closed, but that is still the party that is on the eviction notice. So how does an entity that doesn't exist evict you? Well, apparently it can. I received no letter saying, you know, pay X amount of dollars at this time to, you know, pay what's owed or, you know, your house will be sold on this date or no, no information, anything like that. They're just ignoring us, so we have to resort to this and it's not going to stop here. We know that Nation Star is owned by Fortress, which is a hedge fund, and they have offices here in San Francisco. We're gonna to talk to them next. But Tori, again, within the last half hour, I did get a response regarding Lucas's case. The Nation Star official telling me that the company will not carry out the eviction today, saying that the company will seek alternative solutions. So a little bit of a reprieve for that gentleman. Back to you guys. All right. The banks push the people. The people push it back. The banks push the people, the people push back. The banks push the people, the people push back. The banks push the people, the people push back.